Thanks for coming to the police station, Sam. I don't know what I would have done without you. Not a problem. Your father and I were friends and business partners for a long time. I'm sure not going to drop the ball when it comes to his son. And you know your father. I mean, if I let you down, he'd let me know about it. I just started putting all this behind me. Now I'm... Now I'm a murder suspect? They can't arrest him, can they? Well, I don't see how. Their evidence is flimsy at best. But if it does go to trial, I will put together the best defense team money can buy. But I didn't do it! I know you didn't. Now, as your lawyer, I have to ask you one thing. What do you remember about that night? It's always been a blur. But lately, bits and pieces have been coming back to me. You're having flashbacks? Yeah. Surrounded by flames. The boat's rocking. I'm coughing. And I get this shooting pain in my head. Now, you haven't told anyone else about this, have you? Just Liz. Why? Well, if this does go to trial and the prosecution finds out you're having episodes, they'll paint you as a crazed psycho. I haven't said a word. Good. It's bad enough to lose your parents, but to be accused of killing them? Sorry. Let me add some water. Liz, will you do me a favor? Sure, anything. I'd like you to keep an eye on him. And if he gets any worse, you let me know right away. Whitelaw case reopened, son questioned. I knew he did it. I said it all along. You did not. Well, okay, I knew he was dangerous. I mean, you can tell by the way he stabbed a straw into his milk cart. Jessica, did you hear the news? It's incredible. A woman gave birth to three alien babies and two Siamese twins, and she still doesn't have stretch marks. Not that. These. Wow. I went out with a murder suspect? Do you think I can get on a talk show? People. I know you're all friends with Devin Whitelaw. Well, I really wouldn't say friends. Distant acquaintances, maybe. In any event, it's possible members of the press will want to interview you. Really? Well, so far they haven't come to this school. But if they do, I urge you to respect Devin's privacy and decline to be interviewed, okay? Sure. My lips, they are sealed. Thank you. The press? There's Devin. Whoa! Get back to class. So, are you anybody? Warren Gray, National Tabloid. National Tabloid? That's my favorite. Really? They say you're not a star until you're a headline in the tabloid. I hope that's me someday. Well, I might be able to get you in if you can give me some information on Devin Whitelaw. How well do you know him? We're practically engaged. How's that? I mean, guys always take it hard when I dump them. But Devin was totally devastated. Devastated. What happened, in your own words? Well, he started beating up people and destroying everything he could get his hands on. I told him, I don't care how psycho you get, it's over. So then he went after my sister and started stalking her. Wow. This is great stuff, Jessica. I mean, from everything you've told me, he fits the profile of a murderer. And to think we were so close. I know this can't be easy for you. Are you kidding? This is fun. Want pictures? <laughs> Absolutely. Use this one. It's me and Devin on the beach. I'm in my favorite bikini and I love what the wind does to my hair. I think it would be great on the front page. Don't you? Yes, I do. 
There you go. Scooch. It's going to be okay. You have a good lawyer, you have me, and you have the truth. Yeah, and I have reporters surrounding my house and following me to school. Well, they won't find you here. Now try to get some rest. You look exhausted. Yeah, I guess I am. on my couch that's my problem shh Devin's not a fugitive he's hiding from reporters not the police well if i were him i'd be hiding from the police it's only a matter of time before they come and arrest him he didn't do anything wrong oh yeah for your information warren told me Devin fits the profile of a murderer who's warren he's a professional reporter he works for the national tabloid <sighs> you talked to someone from that sleazy rag how could you how could you let a criminal sleep in our house Get him off the couch. I don't want him here. Just stop it. He's not going anywhere. He's innocent. I hate to break it to you, but you're the only one who thinks so. <sighs> Devin, what's wrong? It's all come back to me. What? What is it? It started the fire. It's all my fault. Devin, it was just a bad dream. It wasn't a dream. It really happened. I knocked over the lamp. It was an accident. It must have been. Of course it was an accident. With all the trouble I've been in, you think the police are really going to believe me? Look, tomorrow we'll go see Sam. He'll know what to do. Everything will be fine. No, it won't. Devin, where are you going? Out. Devin, wait! I can't. Devin! Liz. What's up with you and Devin? Nothing. Really? Then how come Jessica's telling everyone that he spent the night on your couch? He was being hounded by reporters. He didn't have anywhere else to go. How about jail? Devin didn't do it, Todd. Don't you read the paper? White Law son, prime murder suspect. I don't believe this. His fellow students at Sweet Valley High live in constant fear of his violent rampages? Where do they get this stuff? Hi. Hi. Here's a picture of me and Devin. That's me there. Oh. Jessica Wakefield. Cool. Hi. Here you go. Okay. You see me there on the cover? Thanks. Anybody else? I'll take one. Hi. There you go. Here you go. White Wall ex girlfriend reveals all. How could you do this to Devin? Don't you have any conscience at all? Hey, it's his fault. He burned his parents' yacht. Besides, I was just being honest. Ex girlfriend breaks engagement. White Wall's way psycho claims Jessica Wakefield runway model. Show me what part of this is true. Hey, the reporter asked for my opinion. How was I supposed to know he was writing it all down? You had no right to do this. If he's innocent, then why are all these people following him around? Because sensation sells. They don't care about the truth any more than you do. You know, Devin, do you honestly think he could have murdered his parents? No one can prove that he's guilty. No one can prove that he's innocent. I'm really worried about Devin. Still haven't heard from him, huh? Not since last night. He wasn't in school today. I know he hasn't returned my calls either. 
Look on the bright side. I mean, maybe he got one of those secret agent disguise kits and fled the country. Enid. Wow, a murder rap. Talk about messing up your permanent record. He'll never get into a good college. I'm going to call his lawyer. He must have talked to him by now. And then he ran out the door, and I haven't heard from him since. I'm really worried. I was going to call the police, but I thought I should see you first. Good thinking. Look, they say Devin is running away. It'll make him look even more guilty. Don't worry. I'll find him. I'll hire a detective if I have to. Don't wait too long. He's in really bad shape. He's having more flashbacks. Really? You gotta help me, Sam. What are you doing here? I was worried about you. I didn't know who else to turn to. Where have you been? Just driving. Just thinking. Trying to figure this thing out. Trying to figure out if I'm losing my mind. Liz, uh, would you give us a couple of minutes in the private room? Sure. I should get going anyway. Call me later, okay? Mm -hmm. Liz tells me you're having more flashbacks. I am. Everything's coming back to me. I can't take it anymore, so. Then I think the best thing we can do for now is tuck you away in a nice private place where you can rest. I know just the spot. <laughs> it doesn't matter where I go. I can't get away from the past. Trust me. You need rest. You're so exhausted, you're hallucinating him. You may be on the verge of a nervous breakdown. I'm not hallucinating, Sam. These dreams are real. It scares me the most. And those were the bushes where Devin hid when he was stalking my sister Liz. We need the bushes. Now, if you follow me into the living room, this is where the fugitive slept the night before he ran away. Everything's exactly the way he left it. Please don't touch. Police evidence. And now, for the audio portion of the tour. Devin's desperate voice harassing my sister. Get the mic up closer. It's me. Call me. Please. Chilling, huh? Get a close-up from the machine. Now, follow me into the kitchen. We're walking. We're walking. Hey, no straggling. Now, here's the refrigerator where Devin bummed his last meal. Hey, here's a picture of me and my Jeep. I originally wanted a black Jeep because I thought it would set off my hair, but red goes with more of my clothes. Ah, and here's a picture of me taking a picture of me. I also have an artistic side. Hey! Jessica, what were all those reporters doing here? I thought you gave me an exclusive. Please, you can't be tied down to just one reporter. I'm far too popular. Here are some more pictures of me. And don't put me next to Bigfoot this time. He's so... hairy. Look, I write for the National Tabloid, not the Jessica Wheatley. Well, I guess you won't be reading this. It's my diary of the Devon Weeks. I highlighted all the good parts. You know, the parts about me. <laughs> Ooh, well, let's see. Wow. Here's where he first met me. <laughs> wow. Do you think Devin will mind if I sit on his bed? Todd, I told you, Devin won't be staying here anymore. Sam's taking care of everything from now on. Sam is parole officer? No. <laughs> Sam Wainwright, Devin's lawyer. Hello? No. He wasn't stalking me. No comment. Don't call here again. 
vultures. Let me guess, another annoying reporter. You got it. <laughs> I'll get it. Boomers are us. <laughs> it worked, they hung up. <laughs> God, I'm so glad you're here. I feel a lot better. Well, I felt bad about our last conversation. I know you were only trying to help Devin. I'm glad you understand. To be honest with you, I'm happy you're not involved anymore. Hello? Liz, it's Devin. Devin? What's wrong? I'm in the hospital. They've got me under psychiatric evaluation. Are you okay? No, no, I'm not okay. Liz, it's all coming back to me. There was another person on the boat that night. Who was it? I don't know. You have to call Sam. No. He thinks I'm losing it. Liz, you gotta help me. I'll do whatever I can, I promise. Let me guess. You have to go help Devin. Todd, I just have to do this one thing. Uh, let me go with you. No, I'll be fine. This won't take long. Okay. I'll wait here for you. Just be careful. What's up? Devin just called. He's sure there was another person on the boat that night. Really? 